theater with lights and all the various accoutrements. We're going to watch um, a couple of performances and then have a um, wonderful keynote from uh, Hiro O'Reilly. Um, I, I won't say too much about either of them, um, and I'll just introduce them by name as I go on. So this is um, uh, Fergus Byrne, who comes to us from Dublin, and he's performing um, a piece called uh, Dog Skipping Pegasus. At the end is a tunnel with feet dangling, dancing, skipping feet, only feet visible in blackness, whipping boom off jumping floor. All there is. That's all there is, she said. The cat packed four feet, two on, two off, running tirelessly beneath the horizon of his torso. That dog skipping Pegasus. Caught in a narrow tunnel, which opened either end. Two images in the narrow tunnel, through which I passed each time, wanting to touch her ass. Some fantasized love turned on by her intellect. She had questioned the ethics of filming a grandmother with Alzheimer's. In four years, I don't know if anybody had expressed such honesty about art and ethics. She had great rigor. So much, in fact, that one day she awoke captive of her own body. It over-disciplined her, held her, shook her, 
wouldn't let her go. No idea what was happening. See you there. Tendons a quiver. Uncontrollable shaking. Shakes beneath the shadows, hidden from the light. Curl the foot to gain respite. But none given. And she got it. That four legged man running loop. That's all there is. Passes 
describes a circle. The lance and sprint describes a circle. On the pause again and off. The rope relentless. Do the whippers speak? Functionary whippers. Of whom he is oblivious. Obliviated. Paid by the hour. They pack at the wage and depart. Fast on the changeover, mind. How do they do that? Quickly. From old to new hand. Without dropping the tempo. Pats on the back. their dreams. He notices. He just can't speak with that tongue lolling in the mouth. Springs on, uncaught, unkempt, upping and down. No blisters on their fingers, no flowers in his hair. Head lolling, never up. You should have your head up, but how? Not this tired dog. Looking at the ground certainly changes one's lively perspective. A dog that called his own name. No need of an author. New tricks. Combination of voice and body. My name is Dog. I skip on Kathrapat. How high? The higher the fewer. Within a vertical limit, the torso horizontal. Yet direction neither forward nor backward, unless unaware of the static spot. But should not happen now. The whippers are stationary, no longer in his hands. This matter of location. They, the whippers, know the chalk mark spot. Down, up, 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 down, sweating, barking, mad. Don't bark me through that fucking megaphone. Dog with angel's wings might make a better job of this task. Cheating that little flap at each jump, only to land and turn. But surely as much effort when the birds flap and land and resume, flap lift again. Salt, salt! The whippers cry, the handles still in hand. Moments abroad of 
humanity. in an attempt, he bent as before and raised his arms and flap, flap featherless wings. Noble Pegasus, he of six limbs, wings or arms, you can't have both. Quick, quick, there's a cue, up your mind. Graceful like that. The other morning I walked by. The sun was shining. I saw it on the right hand side. It seemed worthy of a photograph. What do you mean? She said when to take a photograph. Quick, 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 flick, flick, stop motion. Motion is what I want to see. But I want to see it in a controlled fashion so that I can sense a mesmeric calm inside a spherical bubble. What do you mean? He said. He said he didn't know quite what he meant. But he damn sure give it a go. It didn't make much sense to me. I thought it might last with us forever. What I said. I'll do my best and let you laugh with us forever. If I fall down a pothole, what will you do? What will you do if I'm not here to help you talk about it, live through it, reflect upon it, as if we have a mutual understanding, when really it might all be based on a certain acquaintanceship over an existential period of market, 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 market. Come closer, come closer so I can feel your presence. This is not shining the way I thought it would today. They promised to me it would be humid. They promised me I wouldn't have the energy to do this kind of thing, but they were wrong. I have a long horn storage of thought. What I want is for the temperature to get so high one day that sport, recreational activities become pointless. But the heat of the environment alone boils my blood, so I don't need to force my vitality to give myself Vitality ever sink so low as to skip without vitality. Market, 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 market. Arches, arches of the feet crackling below your surface. The wrists, the wrists, the wrists. You might feel some sense of meaning to all of this. But in the end, it's just skip, skip, skipping, 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 roping, roping, skipping, skipping, roping, roping. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each time repeated to herself. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine paces. And she could never understand why nine paces was necessary. 
though I never actually told her in the end. It was a memory for me of something else that was important. It's having that memory inside that gives some meaning to the time. The action itself is not. It is merely a veneer to something else behind it. What would you do without that veneer? I was wriggling around like I thought I was a raw nerve. Jesus, that was hell to do. So much care given, and none of it given back to me. I thought. Kneel down and feel grace. Feel grace, like this way. That way, that way, down. Single image, mm -hmm. but I was interested in just very high tempo things, mm -hmm. and like condensing a lot of energy into a tighter space. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, it's that's it's coming with a strong awareness of that kind of stuff. Great. Um, from the floor. I, it's not so much a question, but a comment. Yeah, sure. Um, in the same way that it, it evoked for you Beckett and mm -hmm. and the relationship with text and movement. For me, it reminded me of a DV8 piece, actually. There was a solo, I think it may have been Can We Talk About This, or the one, maybe even one of the ones before that, I can't remember the name, where there is a, um, there's a man who's, who's skipping, and through the skipping process relives the story, and we're never sure whether it's an autobiographical confession or whether it's a fictional account. Uh, the story of um, his homophobic uncle raping him. And, and uh, it just, just that reliving 
the through the telling of it, through the exhaustion of the action, w was so. Um, I, ca I can kind of feel it myself as I watched it. Uh, the memory of it was was so tangible. You could just feel like the memory of whatever he was recounting was being translated through a very simple physical act, but the embodiment of that memory was being transferred over to the audience. It just reminded me of that. It's not a question so much. No, let's look at it. Yeah, yeah. I'll try and find the exact name. I'll Google yeah. it and let you know. Yeah. Um, one more from Mark. Do you, do you skip separately from the text and the text separately from skipping, or did you, do they come, did they, you know, did you work them together always? And also, um, are you hiding the effort? Mm -hmm. You know, are you mon? Do you see what I mean? Are you not showing the effort to skipping in your voice? Uh, well, when I did this originally years ago, I I would have spoken and my voice been weaker. Mm -hmm. But last year I did a piece with a lot of text and I got a bit of vocal coaching, which was really quite helpful. Mm. Uh, I think called Fitzmaurice Technique, I don't know if anyone's heard it. But it was really good for getting the breath behind the text more. Mm. And I think that's coming in a bit more. Like I was just aware that sometimes I might be doing it, but no one's actually hearing it. Mm. So I was, you know, just concerned to actually make the text heard. Mm. I mean, I've done other skipping things with, with <laughs> a different text. I've done, I've done drawings with skipping. I wrote makes a mark. Ah. And, and, and in pigment, dry pigment. The, the, the second half, I don't know if anyone like, noticed the kind of a shift in tone and even address it. The second one kind of addresses the audience more in some ways. But that was the, where it starts with Neil. Neil. Um, that was a duet with a, a guy in Philadelphia when, on a residence and we were playing around with it. So I improvised text to him while he skipped. And then later I went, played back the video and I transcribed it. And it was just really interesting thing to do and the, the slight oddities were it's a result of I suppose improvised text but also where I couldn't actually quite hear the video playback mm -hmm. so there's certain breakdowns which I, I've stuck with so uh, yeah like the, then the earlier part the description of the stretching of calf muscles that sort of very direct kind of just reflection on skipping <laughs> what was happening mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I wrote in a kind of a burst, this fantasy of a dog skipping Pegasus. Mm -hmm. And then I've, I've tweaked it a little bit, just to kind of tie things up. And dropped out one, dropped out another dog, actually. <laughs> <laughs> dog on a pole. Right. So, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, we are going to New Zealand now. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're now ready. What do you want? <laughs>